there have been days where I've come to stream and I've been purposely like like pissy to people on the stream and it's not your fault it's because this shit going on and you know that's a that's a shortcoming of mine that's a human shortcoming I apologize for that but you know it is what it is if any there's a day and you come you're like Phil why do you seem so upset today it's probably why there's probably stuff going on behind the scenes I can't really talk about and it's affecting me in a real negative way and it sucks because I'm a public guy I can't just decide oh today I, I'm really upset about stuff behind the stream I, I, I guess I won't go to stream today no I can't do that you know what I mean? Like, I have to be on stream every day and, and be a public-facing personality to make a living. This is my job, to be here on camera with you guys, you know? So it, it is tough some days to not have that negativity come through. And I apologize for that, you know? I also want to apologize because I got a couple messages overnight uh, from people saying they're upset with me. And whenever someone's upset with me, I want to seriously consider it for what they're saying at face value. All right, and these are not people. These are not trolls. I want to clarify something. These were not trolls who messaged me. These are actually like like fans, very pe people who I care about because they care about me, and they're very upset with me. And so I want to apologize to everyone for the last few days. If you feel like I came across like yesterday or the day before, and I was talking about tips and can you help me with tips and stuff like that, people don't like that and they're pissy. Not pissy. Excuse me. That's the wrong word. Not pissy. They're pissed, and they should rightfully be pissed. If there's someone who's a fan of me and a fan of my content and they're coming to my streams and they're upset because they're like, oh my God, Phil's doing it again. And you know, and the thing is, there's a difference between saying to you guys, you know, I'm stressed today because finances are going bad. Or there's a difference between that and saying, hey, by the way, send me tips, right? There's a big difference between those two things. And it just sucks because being that my major source of income is crowdfunding from you guys, right? Major. I mean, the only other thing that I really get income from that's not crowdfunding is ad revenue. And ad revenue is all over the place and you can't control it. Half the time, my videos get demonetized. I mean, I couldn't tell you. Probably two videos a week on DSP Reacts is monetized. Everything else is demonetized, right? So you can't really control that. Um, and so when I'm in a situation where things are, are, are bad or tight, you know, it's like kind of going to a friend or a family member and saying, hey, things are tight. You know, I, you were already going to help because you probably were going to. Could you help in this particular way? People don't like that. They're very upset with me. And, you know, I'm happy that people ex told me. I'm happy that rather than people saying, we are just going to give you the, you know, say everything's fine. I don't want a room of yes men and women with me. You understand? I don't want that. If people have issues with me and things that I say, I absolutely want to know about it. And I'm happy very happy that people came to me and said, even the way you said it, yes, it's not like you're sitting here and you're begging and demanding anything, but it's still wrong. Okay? You know? So, the thing is, it's I don't even know what to do. When you're in a situation where you know you need the help, right? But just simply bring it up or asking not even asking, suggesting, because I didn't even ask for anything. I suggested something. Even that is offensive to people or upsetting to people, right? Like, I don't know how to go about it, you know? I just don't. If you don't mention it, then you might not get what you need, which has happened, you know? It's like maybe if I don't mention it at all, right? As I've told you guys, what I, what I look at, when I look at the business is, is there a pattern being established, okay? If I'm streaming and I've got a slow day when it comes to any kind of support, all right? It's not something that's a big deal. And it's hilarious because my detractors always make it out to be a big deal. Any day that they, they're literally, I'm not even kidding you, they literally sit here and calculate how much I make in a day. And they post it all over their videos on the internet. Even I don't do that. I, I don't, I don't, on a daily basis, I'm not just sitting here with a spreadsheet going like this. They think, like, like what, you ever see those uh, old cartoony accountants? They have the visor, the glasses, and like one of those old uh, calculators with the, with the receipt shoots out of it. So they're like, every day, here's, the, they're watching my stream. Oh, a $2 super chat came in. Oh, a tip came in. They're calculating. And they have these big running tallies. You know, of, of what I'm being made on a stream, 
right? Which is all wrong because, of course, there's a million factors. There's chargebacks you don't know about. There's the fees associated with each and every transaction. What you see coming is not what a streamer gets. It's bullshit, okay? But this is how they are. They're just nuts in that regard. But I don't, I don't even do that, you know? What I see is if there's a pattern of days, if there's like several days where I'm noticing, wow, that actually was a series of days where things were quite slow, you know, on any kind of support. And how, how do I really gauge it? How do I notice it? Well, as you know, we have goals in effect on streams, right? So for example, today if we raise $50 on this very stream, I put on my gunner glasses, okay? And then if we raise $100 on the stream, I put on a hat. You guys pick a silly hat for me to wear or whatever, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's what I mean. Like that's how I gauge it is like if I notice, you know, I've been putting on the gl glasses a lot, then probably things are going good. If I notice, man, I haven't worn a hat in a long time. It probably means it's been a string of pretty slow days, right? You know, and that's really how I do it. And in the particular, I don't look at stuff until I absolutely have to. And then I look at it and I'm like, oh crap. You know, well, here's what's coming up. I got bills coming up. I got this coming up. And wow, because I've had a string of slow days that have happened within like a two week period. I'm in a situation where, wow, things are real bad right now. And I don't even know how I'm going to do what I need to do in the next week. You know, and it's like, well, now what do you do? Say nothing. If I say absolutely nothing, then no one knows, right? And there may be someone, let's say, for example, and this is my rationale, and I hope you understand my rationale where I'm coming from. I want, I want to flesh this out because I feel like, again, in the honesty and transparency of the kind of person that I am, right, this is what I want to talk about. And if you find this offensive, I'm sorry, uh, but at least I want to tell you where I'm coming from. But I, I am going to tell you I apologize, and there's going to be a resolution, all right? But anyway, if I say nothing, let's say, for example, there was someone who... You know, they've been waiting to actually come in and support the stream today. Maybe there's something there. They like, maybe they really like Hogwarts Legacy. And they were going to come to the stream. And they were going to say, hey, I want to support your stream today. Well, you know, I've noticed that Phil has this new daily members goal. It's not a monthly goal anymore. You know what? I want to have him hit that members goal for today. Right? So I'm going to drop three members. But I didn't say anything, so that's what they do. Great. That supports the channel. But in reality... What I really need help with it for that particular day is tips because I got bills coming up that week and I need the tips to pay them, right? So I'm appreciative of the, the support. It's amazing. But that person, maybe if I had said something publicly that they say, hey, just so you guys know, today would really help if you could tip me because that's what I need right now. The, the members are great, but I don't get anything from them for like a month to a month and a half while the tips I get now, and I really need to help now, right? I feel like we have that relationship and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we don't, right? I feel like we do because these streams are small. Look at how many viewers I got, 300 some viewers. I'm talking with an audience of probably 20, 30 people in the chat right now who are directly talking with me. And I feel like we're having a conversation. I don't feel like this is me transactionally talking to a bunch of people who throw money at me. I don't feel that at all. I feel like we actually have a friendly relationship where we can talk transparently and people won't be offended. But apparently that's not the case because I actually have a couple uh, long time supporters who actually said we don't we hate it when you talk like that it's, it actually offends us it, it pisses us off it makes us feel the wrong way and I apologize for that because when I talk transparently I'm not thinking that way I'm thinking you know talking to a friend talking to someone who I trust who cares about me and who would want to know hey if I was going to support you today what's the best way I get the feeling a lot of the times when I have something like this on the screen maybe this is giving the wrong impression maybe on a day like today where I'm like, you know, I know for a fact that I need some help with tips. I should just not have that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the maybe that's the case. Maybe what I need to do is try to like cater the streams towards particularly what's best for the business that day, right? And maybe that's what I need to do. Rather than saying it. You know what I'm saying? Um I guess we gotta just figure this out, you know, together. And I think it is a growing process. It's an evolving process. But the thing is, I am upset. I'm upset that people are upset. I don't like people being upset, especially people who I care about and people who I trust and people who have been very good to me. I don't like those people being upset with me at all. Okay? Um, so I don't really know what to do because I don't want to upset people. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say things in a way that is going to turn people off and say, man, this guy's all about just raising money on every stream because I'm definitely not. 
There, you know, how many days are we? We're playing games like Lager Dragon Ishin. We're playing games like Oblivion. Those streams are late night chill streams. They're not usually insanely profitable. I do those because they're fun to do with you guys. If I wanted to play every game was insanely profitable, here's what I'd be playing. Every memeable game on the internet, every new hot memeable game, I'd be playing every single one at launch, just like every other streamer that does it. I'd be doing that, right? I'd be jumping on the bandwagon of every popular game, and I would try to beat that game within like three days, get the new game done, and it's now all rush, rush, rush for those day one views, rush, rush, rush to have the playthrough done so you can move on to the next project. You know what I mean? Like there's all these things I do that have nothing to do with profit at all. It's actually unprofitable decisions for sure. But that's because I'm trying to put out content for you that I feel is more meaningful, is more enjoyable, that we can have social experiences on these streams that are personable and we can have fun conversations. You know what I'm saying? It's very different than what a lot of other people do. But because of that, I do absolutely rely on the crowdfunding. You guys know this. It's not like this is a new thing. You guys know all about this. The reason that I'm able to do what I love for a living in the style that I do is because of you. Because you guys support this effort. You know how important it is to me to put out content that is meaningful to me and you. And I'm not putting out that that shilled stuff. I'm not going to pump every viral game. I'm not going to play games just because I'm getting paid to play them. I'm not going to take those 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 opportunities to just... Every indie game... I mean, my God, I still to this day, I'm, I get offers almost daily about indie games. Play this indie game. Play this indie game. We'll pay you for it. No. No. I, I mean, I'm going to play games that I like and my audience wants to see. I'm not going to be playing games just for a paycheck. I don't want this to feel like that, ever, you know? But then when it comes time, oh my God, things just didn't go well for a few weeks. I feel like, you know, I, well, I should be able to talk about that publicly, but my viewers don't feel the same, at least from what I'm being told, you know, the feedback I'm getting. So I apologize for that. I guess what I'm getting at here is, I don't know how to let you know when I, when I really need some help without being offensive. And if the answer is then just don't ever, that's fine, but understand that things are going to might be might get you know pretty bad at some points. Because there's been times in my history as a content creator since I became a full time streamer, since the whole full time ad revenue on YouTube stopped working. All right, that did. I mean, 2017, the ad apocalypse happened. You can't just rely on YouTube ad revenue anymore. It doesn't work. Okay, there's been times when if I didn't tell you guys, hey, I need support in this way, please support me in this way, and if I didn't get that support because I asked. I wouldn't have been able to pay bills. I wouldn't have been able to buy games. I wouldn't have been able to do these things, you know? It's funny because, for example, one of those people who criticized me months ago, one of the things that I had said, I think, in that particular video was, well, it looks like I can't play the new game on Friday because I can't afford it. Oh, my God, you see that? He's guilt-tripping his audience. Actually, I was just I was just speaking a fact. Like, I actually couldn't afford it. I, you know, I had bankruptcy years ago. I don't have any credit. So it's not like, oh, I could just slap that on my, my streamer credit card. Shh and put it all down on the unlimited platinum plan and I can just buy every game under the sun. I can't do that, you know? I'm limited with, with budgets and things that I have. So for me, when I say that to you, I feel like I'm being transparent and hopefully it's explaining things so you can understand, man, I know we all want me to play this game on Friday, but it looks like I can't do it because this is how things have been going recently. But from an outsider, <clears throat> someone who isn't in the situation I'm in, is likely making a lot more money than me and is in a lot better position than me, they're looking at that and saying, oh, that's, you know, what a horrible e-beggar. And he's demanding that his fans pay for all of his supplies and shit like that. It's like, it's just crazy that people just assume everything. They think they know everything. Because, again, what it is is they have this big, ridiculous orchestra of bullshit around them that they believe. They believe there is some absolutely, like, secret, uh, secret, you know, gambling shit going on that's not going on. They believe they're nonsense and they just formulate this nonsense and since that's their, that's the reason. So everyone else, you know, matter of factly, I don't have the money to buy a new game because things are tight right now because of everything going on in my life and, you know, and, and then we have a few slower weeks, right? To them, it's like, oh, it's because Phil blew all his money on mobile games and was irresponsible with money over here and he gets two, someone just said it to me yesterday, why do you get $200 of DoorDash a week? What on earth are you talking about? I have never once in my life spent $200 on DoorDash in one week. Like, what are you speaking of? I get one meal a week possibly delivered on my day off. But this is what I mean. They formulated these crazy conspiracy clouds of bullshit, and they believe it. So in their minds, 
when I say I can't afford the game on Friday, they say, yeah, well, that's because you blew all your money on a mobile game and you bought $200 worth of DoorDash food and you spent this money irresponsibly. But that, none of that's true. When the, when the narrative becomes believe the bullshit, right, then I can't ever win anyway. No matter what I do, I'll always be the, you know, I'm always look like a villain. And that's what sucks, you know? So, anyway, um, I apologize to you for the last one or two days where I said things like, hey, please send me tips. I need help with tips right now. I apologize for that, all right? All I can say is I can try to not do it. And that's all I can say, try. Because I can't promise I won't do it. I'm a weak human, and when I'm t the times are rough or tough or tight, likely I'm going to end up, you know, kind of bulking a bit. Bulking a bit. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't even know the word. But basically, you know, I can't guarantee you it's not going to happen, especially if there's something that really is bad going on. And, you know, I, I need the help right now. And I know people are going to help me. It's just that, hey, the different ways, right, that people can help. And if you can help in this way, that's better, right? 